three years later, Michael Jordan was still a member of the Chicago Bulls, and they, they won the NBA championship. After the game, they won the championship. Michael Jordan, the greatest, one of the greatest basketball players in the world, in, the, in history, he was weeping, face down, overcome, inconsolable, holding an orange basketball in his arms. No one not, knew, didn't know what quite to say. Do we talk to him? Do we leave him alone? But you know, everybody sort of knew what was happening because you know what day that was? It was Father's Day. So there lay a broken champion with everything the world had to offer, but with no father to grab him by his shoulders and say, son, I'm proud of you. So in the interviews, reporter after reporter asked Jordan what it was like to win everything and have everything and be loved by everybody. And Jordan, for Jordan, his success, his fame didn't seem to matter. One could see in his eyes. Because when he gazed around the locker room that day, he found everything he could ever dream of but one thing. He couldn't find his dad. Living without God is like having everything you've ever wanted and having no father in the room to celebrate with relationships. Let's pray. Lord, I'm thankful that you had a plan from the beginning to send your son because we are very incomplete people. We are looking for joy. We are looking for happiness. We are looking for peace. But we don't know that it's really in you. We know relationships are important. <coughs> Sometimes we're just plainly too busy. And for those of you that want and need to make a step, I just want you to say in your heart, incomplete without you. I don't know how to have a relationship with you, but I want to start. Would you put it in my heart to make the steps that I need? Come in and help. Ron talked about a Savior. Lord, I need someone to deliver me from myself and my ways. I open my life to you, and by faith, I ask you to save me from my own ways. Thank you. If you honestly prayed that prayer, God heard you. And He's embracing you. And He's saying, Welcome home. Welcome home, son. Welcome home, daughter. I'm going to share my life with you and walk with you for the rest of your days. Thank you, God. You're a wonderful God and you're a wonderful Father. Continue to guide our time. We're going to have a meal. We're going to have fun. Help us connect. Help us to be authentic with each other and with you. In Jesus' name.
used to come to our fellowship, and he used to always go, joy, joy, joy. <laughs> and um, and um, sometimes I kind of just look at him like, why are you talking like that? <laughs> but he was always, he was always uh, happy and excited about the day, and he's now with Jesus, so, <laughs> but, um, he would say the church is God's happy hour. Yeah. <laughs> God's happy this hour. This is where we drink him in, you know, it was, it was and, a, and he would say, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And He'd give us a handshake that would probably break our hands most of the time. <laughs> or, yeah, or your back, or a very big hug. <laughs> so, um, but, yeah, God wants us to have joy, and it's been a long time since it, I, I've had that joy in my life, and I'm expecting God to bring it back again. Um, it's been a tough year. But God is good even in the tough times. So That's right. I'm just looking forward to the, the new year and then what God is doing every day in my life and every day in everybody else's life here. I'm just so blessed to be in this place. And um, God, I just thank you for this day. I thank you for this place where you challenge us to grow. You don't want us to stay the same. You want us to keep growing and keep learning more and more about you. And I just thank you, Lord, for who you are. Thank you, Lord, that you don't keep us in the same place all the time. And you don't keep us comfortable. And when we like our little nest, you push us out so we can fly. <laughs> And Lord, I just thank you for that. And I thank you for this day. And I just pray a blessing on it. And I thank you, Lord, for what you're going to do this afternoon. In Jesus' name. <laughs>